Uh, is it safe for the transmission B8S4 to launch the car at higher RPM? Well, I mean, really depends on your conditions, your tires, how much traction you've got. Um, I mean, if you're just trying to launch at like five grand to blow the tires off, it's going to be pretty hard on components. But we've tested <clears throat> yeah. the crap out of these things. Like, I mean, I haven't had any issues with mine yet. No, it's, it's launching is always tricky when you launch from a higher RPM. Um, you're, you're unleashing a lot of kinetic force on the drivetrain. So it's like the difference between slowly moving your fist into someone's face or punching them. I'm glad I didn't actually yeah, punch them. I was not looking at all until I um, felt the presence of a fist. But um, uh, it's, it, the, the saving grace is that shock to the system usually breaks the tires loose. Right. And so the amount of force that actually, uh, you know, for every force there's an equal and opposite force. The opposite force ends up being quite low because it's released in the yep. form of tires. Right. You'll have a really sharp spike um, just before the tires break loose, yeah. and then that's where I said it really depends on traction. If you've got some super sticky surface, all that kinetic energy is going to yeah. come up, and it's going to hold for a moment and unload, you know, into the drivetrain versus just spinning the tires. Um, yeah. So if you bolted your wheels to the ground and you did a seven thousand RPM launch, <laughs> gears would just go flying out from under the car. That, that's the full extreme. Yeah. The, the, the high school physics. So, so actually, probably the hard, you know, from a theoretical standpoint, the hardest launch on your car is the one that hooks up and yes. generates the most grip. Yeah. And uh, and we've got most launches are near or closer to that because that's what people are trying to do to go fast and not there's there's no widespread braking of these cars. So I think you're okay.